Hello everyone and welcome back to Marine Wisdom. Today we are going to be learning about the SOLAS regulations of emergency generators. So let's start with the story. The second engineer and the trainee are outside the engine room and the second engineer is teaching the trainee how to do Saturday weekly safety rounds. Now as soon as they reach the emergency generator room, they realize that they have forgotten the key for room number 43. The trainee takes out his phone to take a picture of the room number and the second engineer points out that his flash is on. The trainee takes a picture of room number 43 after switching the flash off because it was daytime and this gives us our first point. The flash point of the fuel used should be greater than 43 degrees Celsius. So the keywords here are flash and 43. So the flash point of the fuel should be greater than 43 degrees Celsius. Moving on, the trainee rushes to the ECR and gets the key. He meets the chief engineer over there who was 45 but looked ever so alive. Very energetic chief engineer. The trainee goes back to room 43 and asks second engineer, how long does it take for the emergency generator to come on load? The second engineer replies, it takes within 45 seconds for it to come alive. So the mnemonic device for memory is 45 and alive. So it rhymes, which gives us a second point, which is emergency generator should come on load within 45 seconds. So you can remember this as 45 alive, just a memory aid. Then. They look at the fuel tank inside. The trainee looks at the diesel and complains about the price of diesel in his city. The second engineer replies, Don't just talk now. Now that you're over 18, you can vote and change the leaders and bring in a change to lower the diesel prices. So this gives us our third point, which is emergency generator should have enough fuel to run continuously for a minimum of 18 hours. So you could relate this to when we're talking about fuel for emergency generator. Uh, the TME was complaining about the price of diesel. And now that he is over 18, he can vote and bring in a change to lower the prices. So this is just another mnemonic device for you to remember. When he's talking about fuel, you can relate this and sort of memorize it like this in the form of a story. So it always, uh, always helps. Moving on, the second engineer says, Anyway, you're quite young, you're only 18 and you have lots to learn. How old were you when you were employed uh, with our company? The TMA, uh, TME replies, Sir, I was 22 and a half years old in my fourth year when I saw my name in the final selection list. So 22 and a half is a very reasonable age to be employed for campus placements and to see your name in the list. So the keyword here is 22 and a half, which is 22.5 and list. The second engineer then replies, I see. Also, look at how messy your beard looks, Panchu. Please trim it or shave it. The TME replies, sir, it is 10 degrees outside. It hurts to even think about shaving in such cold climate. Now combining the previous slide and this slide, we get our next regulation, which is the emergency generator should be able to start in 22.5 degree list and 10 degrees trim. And this is not Celsius. This is an error. So just cut it out. Yeah. So 22.5 degree list and 10 degree trim. Moving on, as Tui now moved on to explain about the emergency switchboard, the trainee's phone starts ringing with the ringtone. Hum tum ik kamre me band ho, aur chabi. The TE, uh, the two E gets annoyed and interrupts the ringtone midway and asks him to keep his phone on silent during work hours, which gives us our next point that is 
emergency switchboard and emergency generator should be located in the same space. So you can remember this hum, which is emergency generator, tum, which is emergency switchboard, a kamre mein. So emergency switchboard and emergency generator should be located in the same space. Now, as they were exiting the room, the TME sighs and says, Sir, captains have the best life. They just sit and do administrative work on their computer. The second engineer replies, Are Panchu, wait till you get to the uppermost rank. They are under lots of stress and are continuously responding to emails. And only learning about the operation of emergency switchboard and emergency generator has made you tired here. Which gives us our next point, that is, the emergency generator and the emergency switchboard shall be located above the uppermost continuous deck outside the engine room. The keywords here are above the above the uppermost continuous deck outside the engine room of course because if there's an emergency we need it to be outside the machinery space and not inside so to summarize the following are the solace regulations of the emergency generator and you can take a screenshot of the same for your reference thank you and please like, comment and subscribe for more such videos. And we have a lot to offer on our app as well. So if you are interested, please reach out to us. I will be linking our Instagram handle in the description. And you can get in touch and learn more. Thank you.